don't always have enough time to cover everything in the news, so here with a recap is one of our writers, Amber Ruffin, in a segment we call Amber Says What? You guys! Things have been crazy! Okay, so first of all, the Super Bowl was this weekend, and I saw the halftime show, and I was like, what? Shakira played the drums, and I was like, what? Then J-Lo did some crazy stuff on a pole, and I was like, what? <laughs> then someone reminded me that J-Lo is 50, and I was like, what <laughs> kind of sorcery is this? Who are you, Gingerman Buttons? <laughs> then I found out part of Trump's border wall fell over, and I was like, what? <laughs> And then I found out it fell over onto Mexico, and I was like, oh, what? <laughs> what did this? A bulldozer? A wrecking ball? No, the wind. <laughs> the wind blew it over, and I was like, what? <laughs> well, at least that won't happen again, because if there's one thing that's super rare on planet Earth, it's wind. <laughs> P.S., of course the wall got blown down. The only thing propping it up was racism. <laughs> oh! If you think about it, yeah, that was racism. Then, the National Science Foundation's solar telescope took its first picture of the sun, and I saw it and was like, what? From far away, the sun is a beautiful hot ball of glowing gases whose gravity holds the solar system together. But up close, the sun ain't nothing but a big old ashy leg. <laughs> hey, astronauts, the next time you go up there, bring some lotion. <laughs> then Beyonce came out with a new line of clothes, and I was like, what? <laughs> then she sent her famous friends giant boxes of the clothes, and I was like, what? That is so cool. Hey, Seth, did you get a big old box of clothes from Beyonce? I think you know I did not. <laughs> so then, soon after, <laughs> People started noticing how the line of clothing resembled uniforms at Popeyes. And I looked at the similarities and I was like, what? <laughs> A coincidence. Then Popeyes came out with its own line of clothing that looks a lot like Beyonce's fashion line. And I was like, oh, what? Popeyes. Uh, I'm a size medium. <laughs> Presidential candidate Michael Bloomberg met a dog for what I guess was the first time, and this happened. <laughs> I was like, what? Did this billionaire just try to shake a dog's mouth? <laughs> Have you never met a dog before? Man, dogs are for petting, booties are for shaking. A zoo in England recently discovered that their big cats are more active in their environment if you spray Calvin Klein's obsession for men. And I was like, what? <laughs> That's not a surprise. That cologne is from 1998. Of course cougars love it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have to stop. You can't just be owing everything. <laughs> cougars? Oh! Racism? Oh! that said Harry and Meghan's choice to step back from the royal family was a missed opportunity to heal race relations in the UK. And I was like, what? It is not her job to fix your country? Besides, she already taught you the most valuable lesson of all. Black people don't have time for your so treat us right or we'll move to Canada. <laughs> Sorry, what? Huh? That's what I thought. <laughs> then something happened that you are never going to believe. Okay, for real. Last week, in a town called Perryville, Maryland, a white man robbed a bank in blackface. And I was like, what are you doing? Uh, now you know there's probably only one black person in Perryville, Maryland, and his life is bad enough. <laughs> but on the bright side, that bank robber probably got home and his wife was like, ooh, no, Bob, leave it on. <laughs> then, yeah, they had weird sex. Then 
I heard my favorite person to look at, Billy Porter, was at the Grammys. And I was like, what did he wear? And I saw him and he looked beautiful. Then I saw that he had a crazy hat and I was like, what? It's gorgeous. <laughs> then I saw that it had an internal mechanism that opened and shut its bedazzled veil. And I was like, what? <laughs> Look. Man, I tell you what, if I ever got my hands on that hat, we wouldn't be doing no Amber says what. We'd be doing Billy Porter's hat says what. And guess what? I did. And now we are. It's time for Billy Porter's hat says what. <laughs> Crazy. First of all, I heard that Gwyneth Paltrow is selling a candle that smells like her vagina. And I was like... <laughs> then, Trump's campaign held a rally to win over black voters by handing out cash in a black community. And I was like... <laughs> found out the Black Woman's Caucus of South Carolina endorsed Tom Steyer for president. And when I realized the closest thing the Democratic Party has to a Black woman is Tom Steyer, I was like, <laughs> this has been Amber Says What in Billy Porter's Hat. Yeah!